Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Drop Kicks. I am the mysterious disembodied voice of wrestling, taking you back to Southend in May for a ferocious flying freeway to decide the Drop Kicks European Cruiserweight Champion. At my side, the fabulous Mr. Lucas Jackson. Hello and welcome to Southend. Here we are, this is a freeway triangle contest for the Cruiserweight Championship. Mark Hendry making all the um, impressions at drop kick for the right impression, but I think that he needs to go on his waist. He's been, he's been very vocal about the fact that he should be champion. Um, but without the physical belt, he's a paper champion. In the he has been doing everything he can to prove it, and he has made such an impressive figure recently. This match, his chance to go for it, a three-way match with him, Mountain Stew, and this man coming in now, the Tiger Kid. Now, he actually defeated the Tiger Kid previous to this at Ilford. The Tiger Kid during that match actually went into it with an injury. So this match has been turned into a freeway so that they can all contest for the belt. But I mean, I, I believe though that um, the Tiger Kid only got medical clearance of this match on the same day. So I didn't know if he was going into this match. And of course, huge psychological disadvantage having been beaten by Mark Henry in, in, in I have to say, quite conclusive style. The Tiger Kid at the end of that match, totally off his feet. Yeah, but it appears so. One of his nine lives gone, I would have thought. Although, he's looking very relaxed there. And then the match. And here comes the champion, Mountain Stew. Of course, Stew, one of the most successful cruiserweights we've got here at Top Kick. He won the belt. The inaugural champion defeated John Madon Richard, believe it or not. John Madon is facing the heavyweight champion at the end of the this time. And he won the belt back. Large amount of Mountain Dew into the lights there. Yeah. Mountain Dew, they won the belt back, of course, at Brent the second, back in February. Defeating um, Dan Hills. The rules of a triangle match, of course, are all three men are in the ring at the same time. The first person to get a pinfall submission wins the match. And this match, like I said, does not favour the champion because whoever gets the pin wins the match and wins the title. And this means that Mark Henry or the Tiger Kid could get the belt without even pinning the champion. Of course, and that, that's something you've got to have eyes in the back of your head in this one because your odds of winning are 33%. 33% there are not good odds. I would not bet on those odds. No, and... With these three in the ring, all three quite capable. Mark Henry making perhaps a very sensible decision, heading for the outside, leaving it to Mountain Stew and the Tiger Kid to wear each other down. But I don't know if this will be something that just come, come back and bite him. Oh, he's, he's got to slide in. Maybe shooting his moment there a little bit. Will allow them to battle it out and then. But see, the Tiger Kid there. He, he can't take his eyes off Mountain Stew though, because a quick roll up there could have been it. As Mountain Stew takes him down to the mat. Nice reversal there by the Tiger Kid. Trying to get top wrist lock, I believe, but ending up with, with a wrist lock standing up, which, you know, wrenching the arm, don't want to be there for too long. Nice reversal there by Mountain Stew into a headstand. This is quite impressive, to be honest. So, in which I think Mark Hendry, maybe that's what he's assessing. He's saying, what, who, what am I facing? Nice fireman's You're carry. You're facing there. that. I'm, I've got to say, at the moment, the cruiserweight division in drop kicks has been hugely impressive. Well, of course, I mean we have we have confirmed that we are going to have a four-way match at Brentwood for that title. But will Stu be champion still going into that into that four-way? Well, that's the question, and it could be settled here in this match. And you got to imagine, you know, Mount Stu will want to win this match to prove that he he can deal with this on the level of competition because going into four, he's on that four-way twenty-five percent. Quite so, and again, all the dangers. And that four-way, of course, also including Daniel Eels, who Stu originally took the belt off, but Eels has been really on, on a drive to, to get Stu ever since. Nice takedown from, from the, from the uh, lock-up. You don't see that often enough, but in these cruiser matches, you can see that, because they, these athletes are so fast. They're fast, and their technical knowledge is quite remarkable. I mean, uh, Mark Henry just said that he is technically superior, and he's proving it now. Oh, but gets caught there. You know, that's a signature manoeuvre there by the Tiger Kid. And a brilliant reversal there, because 
Mark, they're going for that just gut wrench takedown, and the Tiger Kid grabbing the arm, spinning round, putting him down, but Hendry back on top again. Oh, those legs around the neck. Taking down now into a, into a front headlock. A good solid reversal there. Tiger Kid now in control. But in these cruiserweight matches, that can change at any second. Well, it's of course, especially with the added dimension of having a third man in there. Because so often you've seen one-on-one -on -one matches or tag team matches, and you're not used to seeing this situation. And a lovely manoeuvre there. That's a Mexican arm drag there, utilising the ropes. The crowd are loving that one. But, you know, Hendry just not letting his opponent breathe. But there we are. He's back on the attack, which is good. Such that is the wrist lock, and now Hendry's going to try it, I think. Oh, he's oh, in a very awkward position there. You know, and in that will affect your position in the match. <laughs> and in life in general. his position for quite some time. <laughs> Straight back into the headlock and off the ropes into a shoulder block. Quite impressive there. Hendry misses wild with that drop kick there. I think he was showboating a bit too much. And Mountain Stew there takes him out down with a closed one. Hendry back out, not well, to the apron there. He's moving so fast, it's hard, it's hard to keep up. A nice arm drag there. It's Stu taking the advantage, he knows Hendry's down. So they, yeah, back and forth, they go, missing, going with a drop kick and missing, and then a back up standing to this one. These are two fighters who do respect one another. Back into a wrist lock down, keeping hold of the arm there. I think it's just a case, one of these men have got to slow the other down. And not just slow them down, but really slow them down, ground them, get to work on them. The fans here not liking Hendry's lack of participation on the outside. Well, Hendry, in a way, in a dangerous spot. It looks like he's sitting there resting, recuperating. I'm sure he's paying attention so he can run in and stop a count. But these counts can happen so quickly in these cruiserweight matches. He could be caught on the outside just not able to get him quick enough. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, by the moment, it's, lo it's looking as if Stu is, is really working on the Tiger Kid there. But the back up standing gets behind. I think he's got a full Nelson there. It's a maneuver that all, you seen by, by heavyweights. Quite, Tiger Kid just gets out of that quite quickly. Oh my oh god! Oh my god, Henry picking his moment and. Just farmers carrying two men down at once. And see there, Hendry, the experience there. He's cut, he first cut the tie kid, didn't get a pin, then went straight onto Mount the Stew because he's got something on both of them, you see. Lovely backbreaker there. Tilt the world backbreaker, and that is going to damage the tie kid quite severely. And a kick to the jaw. <coughs> that could be it. That could be it. But Hendry rolling to the outside. I mean, Stu really. A wonderful should be the, back kick there. He should, he should have got the cover there on um, the tie kid. I don't know what he's attempting here. Nice well, scoop slam. Hendry rolled to the outside. Now's his chance. Now he's really got to go for it. Lovely leg drop. Could this be it? He's going for the cover. And kick out at two. Tiger Kid kicking out. I think if he had got him, just if he had covered him just after that um, backbreaker, that could have been it. I mean, I've been a recipient of that backbreaker by Hendry before. I know, the, I know how it feels. And it's not nice. It's not nice at all. It's a really dangerous move. And a knee to the face there. I mean, for the science of it, you've got all your nervous system running down through your spine. You get hit in the back like that, that's a shock to your whole nervous system. It can absolutely leave you stumped. Oh, no, I, absolutely, I, I agree. As uh, Stu sends him off the ropes once again, ducks a clothesline. They both duck each other there and take each other down. Double close the spot. I mean, this, now both men are down. They're feeling the effects of that manoeuvre. Let's do, he gets up first. Tiger Shoulder is up there in referee Kevin Richmond. I think good to spot that. Henry, I think, spotted his moment. Trying a clip on both of them. Didn't quite work. Didn't work. And, and a fall away slam. From Beautiful both maneuver. of them. Beautiful move there. And now Tiger going back off to Henry. Taking him into a suplex and he, he gets it with a bridge. That's in the pin. Stu breaks that up. You see there that Stu knew what was going on, but he thought allowing it to happen, that would get Hendry worn down a little bit, and now let's and now let's go back to work on the going back to work on the Tiger Kid, I believe. Well the Tiger Kid certainly I think the more damaged party in this match so far. Lovely, beautiful manoeuvre. Can he get it? Can he get it? I think he's gonna fight him I've off seen, a little bit there. I've seen this from the Tiger Kid before. I, 
beautiful. Beautiful. You see what he did there? The headlock takedown, I believe, on Hendry. And, and the Hawk on, on, on um, Mountain Stew. Hendry going in there to see if he, could, if he could bring him down, but went down with Stew. And followed by two arm drags. Mexican arm drags, I believe. T-bone suplex out of nowhere. You see there, Hendry, been a recipient there of two arm drags. We're probably dizzy, worse than wear. But that little hesitation there by the tire kid just allowed um, Hendry to get that suplex. Which, you know, you're landing on the back of your neck. You know, it's not pretty. You're not landing on your feet. You're not landing even on the back. You're landing on the back of your neck. And that is just... That's a knockout blow. I thought. And, you know, I'll be looking really to cover the tire kid there. But Hendry taking it out on the Mountain Stew here. Well, he knows he's going to have to bring Mountain Stew down, really, before he's going to get a chance to pin the Tiger Kid. There's no point going for that pin until you deal with Mountain Stew. The strength there. But he just kicks that leg away, which ruins that balance that he, that he has. And that means that that arm lock now is on it full power. Not getting a submission from it, moving on to something else. You've got to keep moving in these matches because you've got to get that pin or that submission before your other opponent... Very comes to very, very close close forward I would it's getting close now well it is I mean as, you, as the match wears on as it goes on the manoeuvres that these guys have already taken in this match are taking its toll the Tiger Kid back up what's going on here Tiger up and over down up down to them both into each other lovely lovely stuff there the Tiger Kid using his, his, his agility there to confuse his opponents and really catch them out. And as a made the back throw though, trying to get pinned, but then he got all of that, you see. He didn't manage to, to get the positioning for the bridge. Again, written there pushing, I'm sorry, I mean being pushed on by Mark Hendry. As uh, Mountain Stew begins uh Puts the boot in there on the Tiger Kid. I think that was only fair. I mean, you put your hands on the official, you're going to get, you're going to get hurt. Before. You're you, going to get punched for that. You've got to get a warning for that. Now Hendry here, going off as Mountain Stew misses wildly, head off into the turnbuckle. Those shoulder thrusts there by Mountain Stew. Two of them. Three. Stew with a major advantage position now. Oh, he's the oh, what a collision, and our double one. The Tiger Kid goes into it. Stew, well aware of him coming up. Makes the most of it. The Tiger Kid. That beautiful bulldog there. Semi conscious to begin with, and now. And a, the bulldog's Hendry onto the Tiger Kid, but no! Oh, you see was, there. He was very almost provided it with his own pin. You see there the rules of a triangle match coming into into play here. But he's so careful with it. The rolling thunder, but onto Hendry's legs. Yeah, I mean, Hendry, Hendry, Hendry's all that coming. He's got his knees up, he needs to the gut. He wants to pay back to those shoulder thrusts. Which I guess would take an effect on anyone. Especially if we go on to, onto this match. Tiger descending the top rope, it's always dangerous, always high risk when you go up there as Hendry and Mountain Stew blow for blow here. Not like on the top rope and a oh, double drop kick. A drop kick taking out both men. He could become an eye with them at this point. One leg apiece. Peter Stewart first, doesn't quite get anything out of that. And can't really go for Hendry because Hendry's in the ropes there. Wise move by Hendry there. Getting stroked to the right. Taking two down with a couple of clotheslines. I mean, how much longer can these guys go at it for? Springboard and the back. Oh, tried the back elbow, but no. Stu catches both of them. There we are. There we are. The Mount Vesuvius on, on both men. He covers Hendry, and that will be this one done. We're going to Brentwood on the 27th of June. A fatal four-way contest between these three men and we know now that Mount will be champion going on to, into that one but obviously he has not faced these two men in the ring who have pushed him to the absolute limit as well as the former champion Dodge City Daniel and here he comes here he comes now coming up behind him you know he, he, what a disgusting manoeuvre there what a disgusting manoeuvre and what we've done with the belt he's not champion He's not champion. That belt is just so not his. And after such a, I mean, after such a deserved win and such a brilliant match to see, no, that's just. But 
end of the day, it all comes down to Brentwood. It's a flying oh, fatal four away. The 22nd of June. That's a Saturday. For details, check out www.dropkicks.com. I've been the mysterious disembodied voice of wrestling, and at my side, the fabulous Lucas Jackson. Thank <laughs> you.